Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we're checking out a new mastering compressor from Universal Audio. Let's get started. When the list of great recording studios comes up, one of the names that's always on there is Capitol Studios, of course. So many thousands of classic recordings have been made there, but they're also known as a great mastering studio. In fact, they have four mastering rooms and they've done so many hits, so many classics have been mastered there as well. Now, being Capital, they have access to the best of the best gear. So when they sat down to design their own compressor, you knew it was going to turn out pretty cool. The result was something that was designed in-house, and only four of them were made, one for each room. And the idea was to have consistency of the mastering compressor they were using in their four rooms. They called this compressor the CM5511. And its design was loosely based on the Fairchild and the Gate Stay level, with a lot of direct input from the mastering engineers. They used hand-picked components in these compressors, including vintage Muller tubes, John Hardy op amps, and custom Cinemag transformers. Now, Universal Audio was able to gain access to two of those compressors. So not one, but two, and they were able to go into both of them and do their usual deep dive to super accurately model the response and the sound of those units. And now they brought that to you in the Capital Mastering Compressor plugin even though this is a universal audio plugin, it doesn't require any universal audio hardware. It actually will run with any interface. It'll run with any DAW as well. I'm using it in Studio One from Presonus today. The Capital Mastering Compressor plugin offers all the features, all the sound quality of the original hardware units that were designed and built for Capital. And they've also added some nice new additions as well. Let's take a closer look. So this is the plugin here. They've captured all of the vintage look of the original hardware compressor with the Bakelite knobs, with the uh, VU meters and so on. The controls are very simple, but they give you everything that you need to create effective masters. Or you could use this on your separate stems or on individual tracks as well, because it's a great sounding compressor no matter what you run through it. So to begin, we have an input control. Now all these controls are stepped as you'd usually find on a mastering piece of gear. The steps on the input control are in 2.5 dB. That allows you to set the signal level that's feeding into the compressor. The threshold control sets the level at which compression starts to take place. We've got an attack time control with five different settings here, ranging from slow to fast. A release control, slow to fast. The ratio control is up here. And we've also got an output control. Now that output control is attenuation only. You only reduce the level there. If you need to make up gain, we can do that down here at the bottom with an additional control that Universal Audio has added in. We can choose to either link the two channels for stereo operation, or you can use them separately. You can also bypass the two channels separately. Well, we're linked here, so they're not bypassing separately, but when they're unlinked, you can bypass them separately. We have a sidechain filter available on each channel, and this reduces the sensitivity of the compressor to bass frequencies. So if you have something that's really bass heavy, you can engage that sidechain filter. It'll make it less sensitive to those bass frequencies, and you'll get a better result. We'll take a closer look at this next feature later, but you can actually use this compressor as either a mid-side compressor, where you compress the middle signal separately from the left-right outside signal, or you can use it as a more traditional left-right. You can also set the side chain to either work in dual mono, so it's separate for each channel, or you can link those side chains using this switch. Our VU meters can show either input level or attenuation, and the power switch bypasses the unit. It's easy to see when it's active because the lights turn on and off. On the bottom, we have some of those additional new features that I mentioned. First of all, we have a mix control here on the left, and this allows us to do parallel compression so we can combine the dry signal along with the compressed signal. This means you can keep the attack, you can keep the articulation, but still compress as heavily as you need to get the sound that you want. The headroom control is an interesting one. Basically what this does is sort of set the depth of the compression is sort of the way that I think about it. It allows you to set the headroom that's available on your output, but as you turn that up, you'll increase the headroom and you actually increase the amount of compression so that your dynamic range is smaller. That's what gives you that additional headroom. Monofold is also a very interesting new feature. What it allows you to do is basically mono the low frequencies to give you more punch and more impact in the bass frequencies while keeping the mid and higher frequencies more open. And you can set the frequency at which that happens using this control. You can turn it all the way off, set it up to 100 hertz or all the way up to 200 hertz. I think of the gain control as a makeup gain control. If you're compressing heavily, if you're using the output attenuator, you can make that back up or boost the output level to make your sound louder using this gain control here. If 
Finally, we have a saturator circuit here. We can engage that, disengage, and then set the amount using the shape control. And this adds harmonic content into the signal. It can add brightness, it can add richness, it can add a little bit of grid if you really push it hard. So it's also a very versatile control, both for full masters and for individual tracks. Finally, we have output meters here, and we can set those either to read LUFs or dB full scale. As with all of Universal Audio's plugins, we have a very cool system for managing presets. You can filter through those to see just the types that you want. So here we're looking at saturated master presets. We can click out of that. We can choose just drum bus presets. Click out of that. We can look just at limiter presets and so on. So you can choose exactly what you want there. Or you can scroll through all the presets without any filtering. And you can mark your favorites as well. But what really matters, of course, is how well does it work? How well does it sound when you're running your tracks through it? And I can tell you it sounds fantastic. Let's listen to some examples of it in action. I've got a mix here, a raw mix that I'm running through it. We'll begin with the compressor bypassed. Reach down, hold the sound, feel light, super tight. Now here's with the Capital Mastering Compressor engaged. Reach down, hold the sound, feel light, super tight, small ones, and then again. Sweeter things are in the air, happiness is everywhere. So I'm not processing extremely heavily here. You can see that I'm really only getting a few dB of compression happening, a few dB of gain reduction happening. I am boosting the output level a bit, and we're controlling things there. I have my headroom set up to allow for a little bit more compression, but it's not being heavily processed. But you can hear that it really brings that mix to life, brings everything together. There's that word glue that we sometimes use with compressors for just making it all sound like a finished track. And that definitely happens when you run your mixes through the Capital Mastering Compressor. Now let's listen to some of the presets on this track. Let's begin by bypassing the plug-in, then I'll open up each of those different presets and we'll listen to some of the sounds that they're providing. So we're bypassed, let's start playback. Reach down, hold the sound, feel light, super tight, small ones, and then again, sweeter things I'm in the air, happiness is everywhere. it's really telling how much more finished the mix actually sounds once you run it through this compressor. It's starting to sound like a real record at that point. Now let's look at some of those additional controls. So first of all, let's look at the mid-side versus the regular stereo operation. Everything we've heard so far has been stereo left-right. If we switch to mid-side, we'll be able to adjust the center separately from the outside. Let's take a look at that. We'll unlink the two channels so they're operating separately, and let's shift to mid-side operation. Oh, we 
What that lets us do is determine that balance between the center and the sides so we can change the apparent stereo width, we can rebalance things so that the centered parts, the vocal, the snare drum, the kick drum, all those come out more strongly or they drop back. So it gives us a lot of versatility for working with our master. Now let's look at that mono fold control, which allows us to make the lower frequencies more central in the mix. It gives us more punch and impact. We'll switch back to left to right. Let's play back. Reach down. Hold the sound, feel light, super tight, smile once, and then again. Sweeter things are in the air, happiness is everywhere. a subtle effect, but you hear things like that floor tom being hit occasionally, you hear the way the kick drum sort of pulls in, where the bass image sort of pulls into the center, while everything else then seems to open up because you have less low frequencies on the sides. The final control I want to take a look at is that saturator control. Let's set that to zero, I'll engage it, we'll play back, and let's hear what it does. Reach down, hold the sound, feel light. It's a very interesting control. It seems to add richness. It makes the apparent level jump up, although we're not actually driving the output that much harder. As you turn that up, you can hear it's also adding a little bit of grit, a little bit of edginess into the signal. So it gives you even more versatility with this plugin. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Capital Mastering plugin from Universal Audio. Once again, you don't need special hardware to run this. It'll run with pretty much any interface and any DAW. It's a very versatile mastering compressor that you can also use on individual tracks, and of course it sounds fantastic. Everything from super smooth masters to gritty, edgy masters and everything in between with the ability to adjust the center versus the sides, the low frequencies versus the rest of the mix. Super versatile, sounds fantastic. You really need to check this one out. It's a great addition to your plug-in arsenal. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Happiness.